When you log into Canva, you may have noticed this bright, shiny, sparkly icon at the top of your screen. That is because Canva has finally released Canva Docs, and I'm going to show you everything you need to get started with Canva Docs. Now before I get there on my channel last month, I released a video that talked all about Canva's visual work suite. Go ahead and check it out if you're interested. And one of the topics was Canva Docs. And now let's go ahead and get started and take a look at Canva Docs, which has been released in beta. So to get started, we're just going to create our Canva Docs icon and we are going to create a Canva Doc. So our doc is open and it's going to work very similar to a Microsoft Word document or a Google Doc. The one difference is that in Canva, you're going to make your document look very visual. And we are going to start by adding a banner at the top of our page. There's a few different ways that you can do this. One way if you're a Canva user is you can add content from this side menu. You'll notice it's going to give me options for banners, quotes, headers, lots of different options to begin the top of my document. So I'm going to choose this one and it automatically shows up on my doc. Now I don't want to keep this same title. So what I can do is click on this image and choose edit design. This will automatically meet this will automatically take me to a section where I can go in and modify the title in my banner. Now you also have the option to add images. I'm just going to go ahead and find a Canva icon right over here that I can add to my banner. Once you're done, go ahead and click save. And now our banner is at the top of our screen. So from here, I can add some text. Now I can just go ahead and click where my cursor is and type the text like normal. My formatting panel is right over here so I can highlight my text, the size and the color. Or if I just highlight and click this plus button, you'll notice that if I scroll down, you'll notice that I can make this a heading where the text will automatically enlarge. Now this button right over here will allow me to add lots of different content. Now remember, I can add content from the side right over here to the body of my document, or I can add content by clicking this plus button. You can see some of the options that are right over here. I can add a table, a checklist, a bulleted list, emojis, lots of different options, including all different types of charts, as well as things like a timer. Now I'm going to go up at the top and I'm going to choose this option. This is really cool. It is called magic, right? And what this will allow and what this will allow you to do is to write a text prompt and Canva will automatically provide you with text. So I'm going to type in write five suggestions for using Canva docs. In just seconds, Canva was able to provide me with five different suggestions that I can now use in my document. Now also, if I click this button, I am able to add different types of content. I'm going to choose graphics and I'm just going to type in writing and I'll just add this right in hand. Now, one of the things you can't do in Canva is you are not able to move documents to the right or to the left. Hopefully that's something that's coming very soon. Now, remember with this document, the other thing I can do if I click the plus button is I can scroll down and add a video. So I can add videos from this section or remember I can always go in my elements like I typically do with a Canva design and I can search for videos and just enter my topic. Of course, if there's content that I want to upload, I can do that right over here as well. So here's something really cool that I can do. I can take this video from the Canva YouTube channel and copy the link. And now when I go back to my Canva doc, all I have to do is paste that link. And you'll see that Canva docs automatically turn that URL into an actual video. So this is one way that you can take your document, not only make it more visual, but also make it interactive. 
If I click on the plus button again, there's also an option for me to embed HTML code so you can add all different types of widgets and interactivity on your Canva doc. Now, once this is finished, you have the option to save your Canva doc in a variety of ways. The first way is to set your visibility and then to share this as a link. The second way is to download this as a PDF. If you click that download button, you can select your size and then download this Canva doc as a PDF. Now there's one more option right up here at the top that is convert. This will allow you to automatically convert your Canva doc to a Canva presentation. Once you click convert, you have the option to choose from a number of different themes. And when you select create presentation, it's going to take the information in your doc and create that as a Canva presentation. So hopefully that gives you a very quick overview of Canva docs. I think you have everything you need to get started and play around and make some really interesting and really helpful visuals using Canva docs. Thank you so much for watching. If you have any questions, leave them in the comment section below.